Hello and welcome to my channel and makes. Today I'm sharing with you some of the purchases I made at Dollarama and some school supplies that I bought at the Staples next door. Okay, so first um, I'm going to show you my very small haul from the, uh, Staples. Uh, this is a, a Staples in Canada. It is one that is located right next to a Dollarama that I went to today. And um, these are the best finds I could find really at Staples. Um, I don't find that their prices are good for back to school at all. I compared a lot of things with uh, the Dollarama next door. And I have to say that uh, a lot of school supplies are much less expensive at Dollar Tree and Dollarama. With the exception of these pencils that I bought and these erasers. These notebooks, you can get notebooks for a dollar at the Dollar Tree and Dollarama. These were a dollar at Staples. I just got these ones because um, the person I was buying them for I thought would uh, like these better than a lot of the other ones I saw. I've seen at the dollar stores where uh, they have a lot of flowers and cute animals and stuff. So. I wanted something that was more neutral or masculine looking. These are Hillroy notebooks, 80 pages, one subject, and they were $1 each. So I got a green, a blue, black, red, and I picked up a Metric Quad Canada notebook uh, for math class. They had a special your special right now is 150 sheets of refill paper, the ruled kind. Like this, just regular binder paper, notebook paper. Their, they, their deal is if you buy six packages or less, they're 25 cents each. If you buy more than six packages, the seventh package is 94 cents. I think that's a very bizarre deal, but anyway. <laughs> so if you buy just one, it's 25 cents. If you buy up to six, it's 25 cents each. Whatever. Same thing with their their pencils. These are the Staples brand. Just some regular HB pencils, 10 in a pack. 25 cents a pack. Again, you can buy six for 25 cents each. If you buy a seventh pack, it is 94 cents. So I got these pencils, paper, which are a uh, main staple. Uh, for my my son and in a clearance bin I got some more of these I got some before and I tried them and they're excellent they're by Stadler they're the end cap erasers to put on your pencils because you know that these erasers usually wear out before you know, the pencil does plus I don't find that these pink erasers erase as well as the white erasers, the white uh, Stadler erasers, and it is possible to get eraser caps for your pencil made of the same type, and these are really good erasers. And I got this 50 piece count package on clearance for 47 cents, so I was pleased with that little find. They also had some of their snacks on clearance, so I got uh, three of these O. Henry Reese's peanut butter candy bars. They don't expire until October, so I wasn't worried. Um, I know that they were on clearance, but I checked the date and it's fine. Same thing with these uh, potato thins. We still have about a month to go before they expire. And these were also uh, reduced to 50%. Uh, so, because we pay 13%, yes, 13% HST tax in this province, uh, my total was $13. So, I had about $8 in school supplies before taxes, and then $5 in, uh, for the, the treats in the taxes. Now, for some of the food and household items, I got a Dollarama. My family loves to eat tacos, and Dollarama has a really good price on the hard uh, stand and stuff taco shells. You get 10 for $2, so I bought two boxes. The mild taco sauce, 
is uh, greatly appreciated by my family, so I got four bottles of this. The expiration date is not until April 2018, so we will eat it before it goes bad for sure. This was just a treat for me. <laughs> a little bag of cheetos for a dollar. I know. I could have gotten a bigger bag for the same price, probably. Oh well. Um, some coffee crisp. These are one of our favorite um, chocolate bars. Great. A package of taco seasoning. That is also a dollar. I bought a pair of utility scissors for two dollars. I have a pair already in my uh, craft room and so I got another pair to use in the kitchen. Um, it's because they cut really well, they cut through wire, they cut through those thick plastic straps when you get a package in the mail, like like this, the zip ties here, whatever you cut them, they cut those easily, so it's great for that. It's great for cutting packages like this. We needed some more garbage bags for the kitchen. And I, these, these have a scent, they're mint scented, and it, they do... Uh, well, we haven't had any raccoons get into our garbage when we put it by the side of the road now. And this is for the recycling. So, blue bags for our recycling bin in the house. Another package of little garbage bags for a variety of smaller garbage cans. And these are for your pet waste. They're just uh, little bags for the pet waste. I use these not only for my cat once in a while to, you know, go through the litter box, um, but they fit in the very tiny garbage can that I use on my desk sometimes, or also now I got this cool one to put in my car, this little garbage can, the top just fell off, so this is a little garbage can that I got, let's see, it. and it says here, Oops, that's the top. See, mini garbage container pro order for the car. So you can put this like in the cup holder and you have like a little garbage can for your car. And I know I can put the little bag, a little bag like this inside. And it'll fit quite well. So that was $1.25. Another item that I got just for my car to put in my car. I've bought one of these before, but then I lost it or something happened with it. It, it disappeared. Uh, I clipped this to the visor of my car and post-it notes come out automatically. This is great when I'm out and about and I need to write a note really quick. You know, I, I, uh, I pull over to answer my cell phone. I need to jot something down. I just grab a post-it from the visor of my car and the pen and you know, I clip down the number or whatever. I write down the number or whatever and yeah, then I go off. So this was $3. I got so sorry about that racket that my neighbor is making with um, his mulcher or weed whacker or something. It's, it's horrendous, but uh, he's decided to, that he needs to do some uh, yard work right now. So uh, these are treats I got for the cat. The Temptations, a dollar fifty. Apparently, they'll make her breath smell better. <laughs> that is a wait and see thing. And another bag of treats. Apparently, these are natural treats with vitamins. Hmm. I don't know. And I got this little microfiber pet placemat to put under her water bowl because she, she likes to play with the water. So this will at least keep my floor uh, from getting wet when she decides to play in her water bowl. And these are 250, and it is supposed to be yeah, 19 inches by 13 and a half inches. So it's a, it's a nice size mat. Also for the house, I bought these little cap tops here that you screw onto an open soda can or soft drink can or can of pop depending on where you live you may call it something different and so you can put this on top of the can screw it on and it and you have a little like cap here to put on and it's supposed to keep your 
if you haven't finished your can of soda or whatever, it's supposed to keep it uh, from losing its fizz. And sometimes we, we start a can of drink and we put it back in the fridge and instead, instead of knocking it over and spilling over the, all over the place, hopefully this will prevent that from happening. And I got a blue, a clear smoky one and a pink one. So we can each have, my sons and I can each have our own. I got a container like this. I might be turning this into a bigger trash can to put at the back of my car. Sometimes I find we, when we travel, we need a bigger trash can than my little black one that I just got. So, and these were new at my Dollarama. I thought they were fun. They're by Rubbermaid. They are take-alongs. They're little plastic containers that come with a tray, like two lids. Well, not two lids, there's the lid, then the tray that you could put, make the dip, and the little container can hold like the vegetables and stuff. So I got that. I think this might be practical. I got, they had green and pink. So uh, they also had some blue, that's right. And I got this, so I thought, that was uh, a more neutral color to have with my family members. So on to some of the office supplies and craft supplies. I got some refill pages for trading cards. These are also great for making pocket letters. I don't know if these are the authentic ones and if they're any good, but I saw these trading cards. They say they're Yu-Gi-Oh! someone I know who likes to collect these so I got this pack hopefully these are the real deal I have no idea I got some little Wilton fun picks to decorate a cake let's say celebrate those were $1.25 some Disney frozen die cuts Some cute reward stickers. These were a dollar. The frozen was a dollar twenty-five. And some Velcro here to um, to do some organizing in my car. It'll be a, an upcoming project. I picked up these nice what they were very sweet retro looking note cards with a cat and the typewriter there are a set of eight cards with envelopes and these are a dollar 25 a dollar random I got another two packages of the rub on transfers by K and company they're black with a gold uh, they're or gold with black or black or black and gold uh, rub-on letters I got some stickers here for my planner they're tiny there's a lot of them you can see there's a lot on the sheet uh, for one dollar I picked up a scientific calculator in case uh, one of my sons needs one for school they each have one written they each had one last year but I don't know if they've both survived the summer and in case we need a backup for three dollars I, I thought that was a good I good idea to do and good deal these post-it notes that can fit inside my planner these are a dollar 25 and they're the Elmer's brand so you get a selection of post-its there are a hundred pieces I think there's like a hundred of the flags and 60 of the label size ones. A case for pencils or other items for $1.25. It's small, um, just an extra backpack for someone who they're, they're heading out the door and they need a bag. Um, but they don't want the big school bag and they don't want to take a shopping bag or something. It's just a, an, an extra practical little backpack. Very small, but it, it does the trick when you just need to bring like your shoes or your 
your gym clothes or something like that. This I got from my office. It's uh, a Rolodex business, 192 business card book. My present business card books are full. And I, what I like about this one is that it provides you with the labels to alphabetize your business cards. So what I might do is transfer certain business cards to this one and, and keep my other business cards in my other book. But I, I did need another book because I just ran out of space. I, I have so many business cards. And this is $3. And then some personal items, some hair curlers, some hair care products, uh, perfume, uh, this scarf, which I think is absolutely lovely for $3. It's one of those infinity scarves. I just thought this would be really, really nice in the autumn. I picked up this because of the rhinestones in it. I just want to try gluing rhinestones to a project. Okay, just a few more items that I found that I thought were a good deal. They have these bike saddle covers for $3. So basically they fit over the seat of the bike and they have gel so it makes for a more um, comfortable ride. So I got this for my son for his uh, bike. He likes to go in the woods on his um, his bicycle a lot and so oh, maybe this would make, you know, he would enjoy riding his bike longer. Uh, for the crafty stuff, I got these two pads of designer paper by K and Company. Uh, they're just, they have some design on the uh, cardstock, but they're, they're not very fancy cardstock, which is, which is fine because I tend to use a lot of that. There's 36 sheets. They are 8.5 by 8.5, and, and like I said, these were $2. Um, another thing that seemed to be new at that store, at that Dollarama, were these Palette, payette, payette, thread. <laughs> uh, so they're like thread. You can't really hand sew, or maybe you could embroider with this, or do some mixed media or crafting. And they have these tiny little sequins. I can see that. So it's thread. Yeah, it's textured thread with tiny little shiny sequins. And there is 10 meters or 33 feet of each color for $1.25. Um, they had this kind of neutral, off-white, taupe, and brown, and white, gray, and silver. They had also blue and fuchsia and green. Got this umbrella. It's a compact collapsible umbrella. I'm not expecting this to be of the highest quality, but this is great to have in your school bag for that day that you uh, get a downpour and you weren't expecting it. And this is sold for camping usually, but it's what we call a dry bag. You, know, store, you could store wet items in it, or you could also keep items from getting wet. It's a bag that has like a double seal and it's, it's very good to use in camping and stuff. It's also good for um, putting bathing suits in and towels. So I thought that, uh, this will be used by different members of the family and I want to go to another store and see if they would have other colors because they only had pink so I just bought one for now and I got these scrubber gloves I thought these looked neat they, they're very fancy but they're just like those scrubbing pads but they're in gloves 
So I guess when I really want to do a thorough cleaning job in my kitchen or bathroom or wherever, I can use these gloves. I'll give it a try. Um, and I love that they're pink. <laughs> that's that's kind of, and I love the, uh, don't you just love this woman there? <laughs> oh, it's cute. So that's about it. Thanks for uh, stopping by. And uh, of course, now that I'm done filming my video, my neighbors aren't making any noise. They're done with the yard work. <laughs> uh, thanks for stopping by. Please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Please check out my blog at annmakes.blogspot.com where I share a lot of how-tos, DIYs, crafty projects, reviews, etc.